Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Chanel and today I'm going to be sharing with you the life of my seventh month old beagle puppy, Max. Max here is seven months old and he's so big and at this point I think he's kind of fully grown. I really don't imagine him getting much bigger. He, I would say, is about 20-ish pounds, maybe 22, I'm not quite sure and that's about the full size for an adult beagle male and he's been growing very, very well and I have zero complaints and zero concerns about him and I'm really, really just happy with everything. One of the big things that happened for this month was that we put up our Christmas decorations and we are always working on him not biting or chewing things that he's not supposed to bite or chew on. So having him kind of not bite the Christmas ornaments, not bite the Christmas tree, not bite the Christmas decorations that are all around the house has been something that we've been working on very, very carefully and very, very diligently. And although he's not perfect, he has improved a lot. One of the things that's helped us a lot is buying this anti-bite spray, which we bought about a week or two ago and it has this very sour and bitter taste so that way when he bites it it's like gross in its mouth and we know when he bites it he has like this disgusting face on him and it's just like so gross and he knows he's not supposed to bite it but it's kind of been working on everything except his bed because sometimes we will spray it all over his bed and he still goes and bites his bed. So we're not quite sure why he's biting his bed, but he is biting his bed and even the anti-biting spray is not helping. So we're hoping to kind of fix that habit and change it so that way he's not attacking his bed every single day. One of the things that we did buy him for Christmas in celebration of like Christmas and the holidays and things like that are these cute, cute, cute beagle puppy sweaters. And we got, I think, all of them for five below. We bought him these in a medium size. And last time we bought him sweaters from five below, we bought him them in a small size and he was already kind of outgrowing them as soon as we put them on him. And now that he's kind of an adult sized beagle, we think that the medium size would be the best size for him. So let me go ahead and just show you these cute outfits on him that I'm so happy that we bought for him. <laughs>
off. And another thing that we've been doing is trying to introduce Max and Polka more. And we still have the gate on the stairs so that way Max doesn't go up the stairs and disturb Polka because Polka really has her upstairs space so she feels safe and comfortable. But eventually we really do want to take down the gate so that way Max can go up there freely and Polka can come down freely. But right now that's just not possible because every time, well not every time, it has gotten better. But when Max does see Polka, he does have the tendency to just leap towards her and run after her. And it doesn't happen as much as it used to, and Polka has been coming downstairs and just hanging out on the stairs a lot more, but it is still something that we are working on. So let me go ahead and show you how Polka reacts when she sees Max and just how we try to introduce them and get them along. So the first thing that we need to do is take these greenies, which are Polka's favorite treats, and honestly, it's the only treat that she actually eat. And Max actually does eat these treats as well. So when I take him and I bring him upstairs, I always make sure to give them each treats when they're being good to one another. And if Polka is for whatever reason not wanting to come near Max, I will bribe her with treats and kind of lead a trail of treats so that way she'll come towards us and at least sniff Max. So let's go ahead and see how that goes and hopefully everything goes well. Wait. 